Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The threats posed by unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones, cannot be neglected. Over the past decade, the skies have become contagious, with increasing threats posed by illegal or unwanted intrusion of hostile drones. In fact, drones have now become a fundamental part of modern warfare, providing reconnaissance, surveillance, and aerial strikes on enemy bases. This is why the United States military is developing new and unique ways of destroying drones in the air as soon as they are detected. The U.S. military uses an impressive anti-drone device known as the Drone Buster, a five-pound ray gun-like device that can jam drones. The Drone Buster has a length of 21 inches, a width of 6.5 inches, and a height of 11 inches, along with an overall weight of 4.1 pounds. The state-of-the-art device has an effective range, which allows it to disrupt the drone control frequency, ultimately forcing the drone to return to the operator. Moreover, it works effectively even in low visibility and uses GPS signals to force the drone to hover, land, or fall out of the sky. To counter drones in the air, the U.S. military uses two highly effective devices known as High Power Microwave HPM, and High Energy Laser HEL. These are soft kill weapons that cause drones to fail instead of blowing them up. HPM projects a microwave beam onto the drone to burn out its control systems, causing it to crash onto the ground. The width of the dish signifies that it can target several drones at a time, ultimately defending a wider portion of the sky. On the contrary, HEL directs a narrow laser beam onto the drone that melts its body and causes a structural failure. HEL is mounted on a Polaris ATV type vehicle, and HPM is installed on a shipping container like box, which makes it easier to transport these weapons on the battlefield. The U.S. Marine Corps has devised a unique way to learn how to deal with drone threats, virtual reality testing. This advanced technology allows them to use drone busters tactically by providing innovative solutions that simulate real-life situations. This allows the soldiers to train beforehand and be ready to destroy whatever unmanned aerial vehicle enters their territory. Although the drones were initially made for commercial use, they have proved very useful for counterinsurgency operations. Today, drones are primarily used by militaries around the world for various purposes, including reconnaissance, command and control, 
and decoys for target practice. The second low altitude air defense, LAD Battalion of the United States Marine Corps focuses on incorporating new technology to deter and neutralize the growing threat of unmanned aerial systems. They perform various exercises to test anti-drone systems. Initially, the Marines prepared FIM-92 Stinger missiles and received briefs from a range safety officer. Then, the target drones were launched into the air so the Marines could fire at them for practice. The Marines located and identified the target drones and fired FIM-92 Stinger missiles. The 2nd LAD Battalion uses various other weapons to counter unmanned aerial systems. However, one of the most efficient ways to shoot down a drone is by using missiles. The mobile, low, slow, small unmanned aircraft integrated defeat system, MLITS, is an anti-drone system specifically designed for the U.S. military. It consists of two all-terrain vehicles. One of them is mounted with the XM914 30mm cannon whereas the other is mounted with the surveillance and battlefield reconnaissance equipment. Sabre, an integrated sensor suite that houses radar, thermal imagers, and laser systems that provide reconnaissance and precision fire targeting capability. All in all, MLITS is a state-of-the-art system that allows soldiers to detect, identify, track, and destroy small drones efficiently. The anti-drone technologies can be used on mobile platforms on land, aircraft carriers at sea, and even in colder areas entirely covered with snow. However, the U.S. military has to ensure that the soldiers know how to use the anti-drone systems in any terrain. For this reason, they conduct various exercises to provide hands-on training on these systems, specifically in Arctic environments. In addition to the United States, several other countries have been testing anti-drone technologies in Arctic environments. For instance, the United Kingdom conducted winter warfare training in Norway, where Marines endured temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. During these exercises, the Marines trained in the snow and at sea in rigid inflatable boats, or ribs. The Marines, specifically from the United Kingdom, fired various weapon systems, as well as conducted long patrols and amphibious landings.
The militaries worldwide are looking for different ways to counter threats posed by unmanned aerial systems. Therefore, they collaborate to test and check the efficiencies of different anti-drone systems. Such was the case in October 2022, when Dutch, German, and Norwegian soldiers participated in the Spartan Aero exercise in Hania, Greece. Initially, the drones were launched from launching pads. The soldiers then launched a missile from the Norwegian High Mobility Launcher and the German Patriot Missile Defense System to destroy drones hovering in the air. In addition to countries' collaborative efforts, NATO conducted a multi-domain exercise in October 2022. Almost 5,000 personnel from 26 countries took part in this exercise to combat potential threats caused by the malicious use of drones. On the training site on the northwest coast of Denmark, the Danish forces launched a Banshee 600, a custom-built drone specifically designed for air defense simulated training. Before the launch, the personnel conducted pre-flight checks to ensure the drone was operational and ready to launch. The crew then used the Juicy Crane to lift the Banshee 600 aerial target and place it onto the Hercules pneumatic launcher. At last, the Banshee 600 was launched into the air while the personnel monitored it from the facility on a computer. To help this cause, several scientists linked to NATO are developing a signature database of small UAVs to help the nations develop drone detection systems and tracking algorithms. At a facility in France, the scientist collected data on various models of small drones in an urban environment. This will surely help NATO's allies in their cause of developing efficient anti-drone systems. With continuous advancements in drone technology and its widespread adoption in warfare, the significance of strong anti-drone defense systems cannot be overstated. The United States military is putting its resources into developing innovative anti-drone technologies to protect its skies from the threat posed by hostile drones. However, these challenges can only be confronted permanently through proactive measures and international collaboration. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.